China, the world's largest exporter, has expressed profound worry over tensions in the Red Sea, which have disrupted global trade by causing many merchants to avoid the Suez Canal. Welcome everyone, in today's video, we're going to tell you China's big prediction after U.S. airstrikes on Hu This. Chinese officials have asked their Iranian counterparts to assist rain in attacks on ships in the Red Sea by Iran-backed Houthis or risk damaging commercial relations with Beijing, according to four Iranian sources and a diplomat familiar with the situation. But before we proceed the further video, if you're new to this channel, remember, go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe, so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. The discussions concerning the attacks and trade between China and Iran occurred at many recent meetings in Beijing and Tehran, according to Iranian sources who declined to identify specific dates or attendees. Basically, China argues, if our interests are hurt in any way, it will have an influence on our commerce with Tehran. So advise the Houthis to exercise caution according to one Iranian official briefed on the talks who spoke with Reuters on the condition of anonymity. The strikes, which the Houthis claim are in support of Palestinians in Gaza, have increased shipping and insurance costs by blocking a crucial commerce route between Asia and Europe that is heavily frequented by Chinese ships. The Chinese officials, however, made no particular comments or threats about how Beijing's commercial relationship with Iran may be altered if its interests were harmed by Houthi strikes, according to four Iranian sources. While China has been Iran's largest commercial partner for the past decade, the relationship is uneven. Chinese oil refiners, for example, purchased more than 90 of Iran's crude exports last year, according to tanker tracking data from trade analytics firm Kepler, as U.S. sanctions drove many other clients away and Chinese firms benefited from steep discounts. However, Iranian oil accounts for barely 10 of China's crude imports, and Beijing has a slew of suppliers that could fill any gaps. According to Iranian authorities, Beijing has made it clear that it will be very upset with Tehran if any Chinese vessels are hit or the country's interests are harmed in any manner. While China was vital to Iran, Tehran also had proxies in Gaza, Lebanon, Syria, and Iraq. In addition to the Houthis in Yemen, and regional alliances and interests influenced its decisions, according to one Iranian source. When asked about discussions with Iran to discuss the Red Sea attacks, China's foreign ministry responded, China is a sincere friend of the Middle Eastern countries and is devoted to maintaining regional security and stability while seeking joint growth and prosperity. We firmly support Middle Eastern countries in developing their strategic independence while also uniting and collaborating to handle regional security concerns," it told Riot. The Iranian foreign ministry was not immediately available for comment. Military raids by us and British forces on Houthi targets in Yemen this month have failed to halt the organization's attacks on shipping. The group controls a substantial portion of Yemen, including the capital Sana'a, and much of the country's Red Sea coast via the Bab al-Mandeb Strait. The Houthis, who first appeared in the 1980s as an armed force opposing Saudi Arabia's Sunni Islamic Authority in Yemen, are armed, sponsored, and trained by Iran, and are part of its anti-West, anti-Israel axis of resistance. A senior US official said, Washington had asked China to use its influence with Iran to persuade it to restrain the Houth, including conversations between Secretary of State Antony Blinken and National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan this month with senior Chinese Communist Party official Lu Jiankao. A senior Iranian source stated that while Chinese representatives thoroughly articulated their concerns during the sessions, they never referenced any requests from Washington. On January 14, China's foreign minister, Wang Yi, called for a stop to attacks on civilian ships in the Red Sea, without identifying the Houthis or mentioning Iran, and for the preservation of supply lines and the international commercial system. Victor Gao, chair professor at China's Sochou University, stated that China, as the world's largest trade nation, was disproportionately harmed by the shipping interruption, and that restoring Red Sea stability was a top concern. However, Gaio, a former Chinese diplomat and consultant to oil giant Saudi Aramco, said Beijing, would see Israel's treatment of Palestinians as the fundamental cause of the Red Sea problem 
and would not publicly blame the Houthis. When asked about bilateral discussions between Iran and China on the subject, a U.S. State Department official declined to comment. According to a diplomat familiar with the situation, China has been in contact with Iran over the topic. Although it is unclear how seriously Tehran is taking Beijing's advice, two Yemeni government officials who oppose the Houthi use claimed they were aware that other nations, including China, had attempted to persuade Iran to reign in the Houth. According to analysts Gregory Brew of Eurasia Group and Ali Vaiz of the International Crisis Group, China has potential power over Iran due to its oil imports and Iran's desire to attract more Chinese direct investment in the future. However, both stated that China had previously been hesitant to use its leverage for a variety of reasons. China chooses to free ride on the U.S. protecting freedom of navigation in the Red Sea by bloodying the Houthis' nose, said Vaez, adding that Beijing was also aware that Iran did not have complete control over its Yemeni allies. Yemen's Houthi terrorists are attacking ships in the Red Sea, slowing maritime traffic through the Suez Canal, and forcing some vessels to reroute to a far longer east-west route past Africa's southern tip. On Thursday, Houthi spokesman Mohammed Abdul Salam stated that Iran had yet to receive a message from China regarding the reduction of assaults. They will not inform us of such a request, especially given Iran's avowed posture of supporting Yemen. It denounced the American-British strikes on Yemen and viewed Yemen's stand as honorable and responsible, he said. The four Iranian sources said it was uncertain whether Iran will take any action following the talks with Beijing. The stakes are high for Iran, since China is one of the few powers capable of supplying the billions of dollars in investment that Tehran requires to maintain the capacity of its oil sector and keep its economy afloat. China's influence was clear in 2023, when it helped Iran and regional adversary Saudi Arabia reach an accord to end years of warfare. However, while China and Iran have strong economic links, Beijing's influence on Tehran's geopolitical decisions is limited, according to one Iranian insider. Some in Iran's governing establishment have questioned the partnership with Beijing, citing low non-oil trade and investment levels since the two countries inked a 25-year cooperation deal in 2021. Iranian official television reports that Chinese enterprises have only invested $185 million since then. Last year, state media reported that Iranian non-oil exports to China plunged 68 in the first five months of 2023, while imports from China increased 40. Chinese corporations, on the other hand, agreed last year to invest billions of dollars in Saudi Arabia after the two nations forged a comprehensive strategic relationship in December 2022. Two Iranian insiders stated that while China could not be ignored, Tehran had other objectives to consider, and its actions were influenced by a complex interplay of forces, regional alliances and priorities, as well as ideological concerns, play a considerable role in Tehran's actions, one source added. The second source stated that Iran's rulers needed to adopt a sophisticated approach in response to the Gaza conflict and the Houthi attacks and that Tehran would not desert its allies. Iran's role as the leader of the Axis of Resistance, which includes the Houthis, Lebanon's Hezbollah, Hamas, and militias in Iraq and Syria, has to be balanced against the risk of being drawn into a regional battle over Gaza, according to Iranian sources. That's all for today's video. Tehran's messaging to and about the Houth, this requires a degree of denial about its authority over them as well as the opportunity to claim some credit for their anti-Israel actions, according to one of the sources. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button to avoid missing any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.